I'm here at our undercover otter wall here at Stephen and Penelope, and this is one of my favorite yarn walls because the colors are so bright and so intense, and we have a lot of different bases. So I want to walk you through some of the bases we have and what kind of projects you can make with them. So here we have Squirm Sock, which is one of my favorite sock yarns, and they come in these really vivid semi-solid colors. So this base you're going to find has a really plump twist to it, and it's really squishy and very plump. So I love this sock yarn because it gives a lot of body to your stitches. So some contrast blast socks I think would be amazing with two solid colors together. Or maybe like a dark and a light. You could do like a gray and an icy green. Or I'm, I'm a big fan of gray and yellow. Ooh, these would be my contrast blast socks. This is the Van Helsing colorway and this is called Not the Bees. I love all these semi-solid sock options, and we're always getting lots of different new colors. So that's called the Squirm Sock Base. You can use this for shawls too. Um, it works for like the Painting Honeycombs shawl or any of my fingering weight shawls. But some other fingering weight options for those drapey shawls are the Eventide Base. This is a yak blend. So this yarn has 20% yak, 20% silk along with the merino yarn. So it's really soft and silky. It has that heathered tonality to it, and it's really good for drapey shawls. So this is called Eventide, and this slip extravaganza was made with that yarn. I mean, how beautiful is that? Really heathered, it has a beautiful sheen to it, and it's just so super drapey. So this is the slip extravaganza with four colors. One, two, three, four. This one was done with five. This was done with an extra color. But uh, yeah, you can customize those color pops and you need two skeins of the main color for Slip Stravaganza. Same with the Painting Honeycombs. Two skeins as a main color is a really good base. And then you could mix that with some color pops or mini skeins in your stash. So really beautiful. This is called the Society colorway. It's like a blue with a subtle purple tint to it. And then we have a lot of colors right now of Singularity, which is one of my go-to shawl yarns, that really drapey single ply, and look at all those splashy speckles. There's a lot of variegated and speckled colorways that Aiden dyes, and this one's called Bubblegum Crisis. Such a fun name. Splashy bubblegum pink with that electric royal blue. So these splashy colors, I love mixing together and like finding those beautiful melted color palettes. So something like that, really aqua and fresh. You could go light to dark for any of my faded shawls, maybe like a dotted rays. This one was done with three skeins of the Singularity. So you can start with the lightest color and stripe and fade your colors however you like as you work toward the border. You get a really good size with three skeins. That's a good medium to large sized shawl. So you could go really light and icy, or maybe those pinks. So find a like a inspiration color and then build your palette from there. Find something that connects to it. And then maybe you could end and go a little bit darker. Or you could take those splashy colors and get a lighter one to keep it really light, bright, and fun. So a lot of fun colorways. This is the Singularity base, and I just love how the speckles and splashy colors mix together. You find that a lot of those speckled uh, colors are used in different skeins, so even different colors have similar types of tones to them. This one's called Bare Fronted Hoodwink, and this one is called Rare Exports. This is one of our exclusive colors at Stephen and Penelope rare exports. So lots of fun options to choose from. And then our last base we have is that same yak blend, but in a DK weight. So this is called Eventide DK, and it's a little bit thicker, a little bit quicker to knit, but it has that same lustrous, silky vibe to it. So this yarn I used for my basket weaver shawl. It's this beautiful textured woven effect. So you can get, I think this was done with three skeins. Did I use three skeins? Four skeins. I used four skeins for this. Three skeins you could bind off a little bit early if you want it smaller. But to get this size, four skeins of that Eventide DK would be really beautiful. You could even do this, I've seen people do this as a fingering weight version as well. So if you want to do a fingering weight version of this, then I would get three skeins to be safe of fingering weight. But Basket Weaver is a really easy knit pearl with a little yarn over shawl 
and I just love that textured woven effect to the shawl. So you'll find all these undercover otter yarns. They're all at stephenandpenelope.com, and we also have them on our wall here in person at the shop. So come on by and give them a little squish and make your perfect color palette. For me, that always means yellow. I think these, these, yeah, these juicy yellows. This would be a super summery sunflower shawl. So get inspired. Let us know what you make with these yarns, and I can't wait to see what color palettes you put together.